Today in our daily Things I Wish I Knew a Long Damn Time Ago, we're going to talk about the bullshittery of a drop-through fit. Now, a drop-through fit is something you hear repeated again and again as sort of traditional jewelry lore, that when you're making a bezel for a stone, you want to have a drop-through fit. So, usually people interpret drop-through fit as you have to have extra space in your bezel. And what that means is then when you set it, you've got all this extra metal and your setting never really looks good. Forget the nonsense of a drop-through fit, okay? So this is what you really need when you have a bezel. You wanna have just enough room for the stone to go in and out. Not enough room for the stone to rattle around or just you know fly all over the place. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and I'll show you the adequate space that you actually need, which is probably a lot less than you think you need, which will make your setting way less painful. So I just have um, this nice little hesonite garnet round. Uh, I've got a 26 gauge bezel right here. I've already cut the end nice and straight, which you normally would. Now, when I make a bezel, usually I just start my curve right on a round uh, mandrel like this because I can just look at the stone and sort of guesstimate the right spot, and then I can slide it up or down according to whatever I need. So I'm gonna press on it with my finger a little bit. Now, incidentally, this first bend is the most important thing. You wanna make sure that it curves in the exact same curve as your stone. If you have a little straight like this and that little extra gap in there, you're never actually gonna get a really good fit. So remember that your first bend is really the most important. A lot of times what I do is I just take a dowel and I press the end of my bezel so that it really has a curve. Now I'm gonna try it up against my stone and see if the curve that I picked is actually correct. Looks pretty good, but I think I need to tweak it a little bit. And remember, you always want to be checking your bezel from right underneath your nose so that you can actually see what the gaps are. So I'm going to slide this up a little bit and give it a little squeeze. Make sure my end really has a nice curve to it. And let me try it again. See, a little too small. Usually I get it right the first time, so I guess this is what I get for being cocky. Okay, so now this is what I want. I don't see any gap down in here, and I can, I can pull it up or down. What I'll do then is I'll grab hold of it, and I'll pull it around the rest of the way, and squeeze it nice and tight up against it there and mark it. So forget about the whole, like, oh, drop through. It has to have lots of space. You don't want that. I'm gonna do a little close up so that you can see this a little better and hopefully it'll make a little more. So sense. I've made my first curve up on my bezel mandrel and you can see right here, I took a dowel and I pressed the end right up against that curve. It's essential that the first curve really matches the stone. If you leave it a little straight so that there's a gap in there, it's almost impossible later to get a truly close fit. Okay, so that's really your most important thing. So I've got my little end nice and curved in. It matches up against my stone and it can catch it a little bit. You know, that's what I mean about too much of a drop through fit. You don't want a lot of extra space in there. I just wanna be able to get it in and get it out like that a little bit. If I can just take my finger and tap it out of there, that's absolutely fine. That's more of what you're looking for than something that'll just fly all over the place. Okay, so I've got my first bend right. I'm gonna hold on to it. And then usually for something like this, all I really have to do is take my fingers and pull it around. I can also use a dowel to press on it a little bit to make sure I don't have any space. But you see that it just goes in and out. Maybe it catches a tiny bit. If I tap it with my finger, it'll pop back out. That's really the fit that you're looking for. So please forget about the whole drop through fit and start making bezels that actually fit your stone. Your setting will go a lot faster and you'll be a whole lot happier. After I get this tight up against the stone and I see absolutely no extra space and it just goes in and out just a little bit or just enough that I can tap it out with my finger. I can squeeze it nice and tight together and then I can mark it where it's gonna overlap with a magic marker. 
And that's usually what I do because then exactly I know where to cut. Now, you'll notice also I'm holding it tight up against the stone. Even very soft materials like fine silver or this is 22 karat gold, if you let go, it'll kind of bounce open a little bit. And again, that'll be giving you a little more space than you really want. So I hold it tightly up against there, make my mark, and I know that I'm gonna have a really nicely fitting bezel. So please let go of that whole bullshit that is a drop-through fit.